Imagine a place that empowers the individual. A place that offers an opportunity every day. A revolution in the way we do business. Specifically pursuing society's unqualified individuals. Allowing them to be the fundamental key that keeps this business growing. Built on the belief that all humans can bring value in all kinds of ways. We are all born with the same amount of time in a day. We all have the power to make a difference. Creative Uniques empowers the independence of an individual to be in control of how they can succeed at life and gain financial opportunities on a daily basis. Success is gained through failure. Listen to everyone, then do it backwards. Creative Uniques. Your choice, your life, your value. Inspire the uninspired to inspire others. Hello and welcome back to Creative Uniques where I teach you skills to what? Make money. Please don't forget to check out the store on Etsy in the link below as well as cuniques.com where you can find more information about this nonprofit or any of the items that you see here. If you want little sneak peeks of the items that I will be showing eventually when I get there, I am also posting on TikTok. Now on to vintage costume jewelry identification. So this next piece, so this next piece I wanted to show you, you see how it's white? This white is oxidation and when sterling silver oxidizes it turns white. So that's how you can know it's sterling. On the back, you see how far the needle is past the clasp? That's what you want to buy. That's what you want to find. You want to look for that. That means they're older. And then if you see this hook, this is also something you want to find. And you want to find it soldered in there. That means it's older as well. Also, if you look very closely, this is called filigree. It means they got their tools in there and intertwined and twirled this alloy, sterling, to make this beautiful brooch. These are my favorite, personally. I have a beautiful butterfly. I had I I told myself I'd only keep one, <laughs> so I have a really pretty butterfly. Um, but this one, this one's a great piece. This one is worth twenty five dollars. These are sapphire colored. Costume jewelry clip earrings. Unsigned. And remember that that uh, staff in here, this circle mechanics here, how they put this earring together shows us it's the 50s. Could be, yeah, 40s, but 50s. That's my guess. And then you see the casing, you see how far up it goes again. And look at all the facets. Look at all the facets and how they're reflecting. And then inside here, you can't see it, but if you look in that little hole, you can see there's a uh, foil backing in there. But these are perfect examples of the items that you should be picking up. These are valued at $150. 
Next up, I have a necklace. And this necklace, it, if you look here, you can see some of these are starting to fade. The rhinestones are starting to fade here. They're yellowing. But the reason why I chose this one is if you look at these prongs here in the center, you can see how far over they go onto the actual stone. They're extended even further than the normal prong is. And you see that glitter, how much is reflecting here? So that made me think crystal. And then these remind me of glass more, especially with the fading here. But even with this faded, if you, if you look on the back, you can see it's all soldered in individually here and then linked to this chain which these are individually soldered if you look at this chain this is an older style chain and they're individually linked and then if you look at the end you have your hook And this piece is from the 1960s. And it's worth 20. But I only got it for $1.99. So it wasn't a bad buy. The next pair I have are again from the 1950s. These are more three dimensional, like we've seen in the past. But again, you can see how the prong set is extended here on this one. And there's a few facets there. It's glass. However, if you look on the back in the 1950s little mechanics in the back. And these are unsigned and they're worth $25. But I also grabbed them because if you look at that one, it's this Marquise. They did a lot of Marquise is kind of a signal to me that it's um, vintage. You can see how far the prongs are here on this side. But for $1.99 I got those for, those are worth $25. Next up I have these and these are from the mid 1900s. I noticed that the mid-1900s tend to have this little beaded edging around their button type uh, earrings, clip earrings. And then you have it on the back and you can see the filigree on the back. And it has the pads at the end. So that's a nice added feature for sure. But these are worth $30. I got them for a dollar. And they're mint green. And they're signed Robert. It's worth picking up the ones that are signed. They're at least worth 25 to 35 bucks. Next up, I have this really pretty rhinestone necklace. I've actually worn this before. But you can see the marquise here these dangling here. On the back you can see there's the hook and then at the end you have the accent at the end that's even bigger. One side of these will be longer than the other because that's what they considered the safety clasp to be um, um, invisible. And then on the back you can see how it's all welded together I mean soldered together, sorry, welded. Uh, soldered together. It's just a well made piece. I 
and this one is valued at fifty dollars and I got it for probably about four ninety nine no more than six ninety nine this next one is very similar you see the detail you can see the detail in how each individual one of these has been sodded together into an art piece before it's been added on to the actual banding I mean um, the necklace length but you see even that's soldered here again the Marquise was an identifier if you look at the back here we have another hook the end here you have another accent one size longer than the other I thought this was really nice almost like a Hollywood Regency type glamorous look if it'll focus there it goes <laughs> No, maybe not. There it goes. <laughs> so it's very Hollywood Regency. I think it's very nice. Looks like a bow almost. That one's worth $75. And I got that one for $6.99. The next piece I have is a brooch. I love the way this one's constructed. You see how well done this has been put together. Even the way it's holding these faux pearls. It's just a nice solder piece. It's a heavy weighted piece. These are rhinestones. It's unsigned. I bought it for $12.99. I took the risk on it because of the quality in the three-dimensional look here the twist here I thought it was really cool and this one's worth fifty dollars twelve ninety nine flipped into fifty dollars check that back out again and those are Aurora a Bore, uh, borealis rhinestones they also describe them as capital A and capital B on titles. Aurora Borealis. Alright, next up, I know we've seen these before. We've seen them in blue and they were worth $20. But these ones I want you to take notice of because these ones are signed Japan. These are signed Japan. There's two different type colors on the back and they're orange on the front with that luster. You can even find dishes in that luster color as well. Um, but because they're signed Japan, they're going to be worth $25. So it makes a difference when they're signed. Next up, I saw these hairpins and I grabbed them because they were Turquoise and turquoise is really in right now. For the set of two, I got them for $3.99. And they're worth $25. And they're not like sterling or anything. It's just an alloy metal. But they're worth $20. Next up, I want you to see this necklace. A designer to look out for is Napier. N-A-P-I-E-R. This one's from the 80s. You can tell by the clasp. Oh. That is a 1980s clasp. And also the name of the designers on that as well. Here's the other side. Also, if you look in between, it's an actual chain 
it's not a string. But this one's signed Napier, measuring 20 inches, is worth $175. I got it for $2.99. And it's, and it's just from the 80s. But it's signed Napier. Definitely pay attention to the names. Thank you so much for staying tuned for this episode of Creative Uniques. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it helps this channel benefit more people. Thank you so much. Check you later. Bye.